If you're having a bad day, remember that we unloaded 6,000 bricks in the wrong address. <laughs> 6,000 bricks, are you kidding me? These guys drove their truck with 6,000 bricks on the back of it and started unloading, started unpacking. They were just trying to earn a little bit of cash and they ended up unpacking it at the wrong address. Like what went through their head when they finally realized that they were at the wrong address? Like that moment when you're like, I have legit unpacked 6,000, not just 1,000, not just 2,000, 6,000 bricks at the wrong address. But hey, those guys definitely got a good workout that day. That's for sure. 6,000 bricks off, 6,000 bricks back on, and then 6,000 bricks off again. Oh my God, I can't even do the maths. It sounds heavy. It sounds painful. But is it going to stop me from laughing at it? No. I'm sorry. I can't help but laugh at other people's misfortune here on the channel. I'm sorry. I'm a reaction channel. I gotta do what I gotta do. It's funny. So this happened to a friend. She was almost finished. I'm trying to like get a mental image in my head of what it looked like before it was dropped on the floor. Hey, maybe this was the style that she was going for and then you walked up to him and was like holy sh you dropped it on the floor is, is it is it okay are you all right and she's just like oh yeah i dropped it on the floor how uh, depressing but in reality she actually wanted it to look like this like a dropped face <laughs> she was almost finished can we get some f's in the chat for this lady right here it just looks so <sighs> ugly so this is a true story guys sturgeon did somebody fart Silence, just silence. No one's gonna admit to a fart. I wouldn't admit to one, would you admit to one? And then the surgeon goes, I, I need to know if somebody farted, I may have a perforated bowel. And this poor med student had to admit that he was the one that farted. How embarrassing. You're trying to grow and be a doctor. You wanna be the surgeon one day and you legit just farted in the middle of a surgery. But in his defense, sometimes you just can't hold it in. Like you gotta go when you gotta go. At least you didn't find out that power tools and beards don't mix. Mate, I could have guessed that power tools and a beard were never are gonna mix. It legit looks like this guy has been growing out his facial hair for what seems like 10 years. Not even joking. Look at how long it is. It's longer than my hair. And he's just, oh, just the yank of that tooth. That wouldn't have been a good feeling when that got ripped from your body. He literally looks like he's holding the tears back. He's he's ready to cry. He's ready to yell. He's ready to scream. So this mum sends a cute selfie. You're like, what's she gonna say? This looks adorable. She goes, look where I am. It's like, hmm, where are you? Where, oh, where's that? Uh, I'm in my dorm. That looks familiar though. Please tell me you're not in somebody else's dorm and the mom's just like oh sh I am in the wrong dorm. Oh my God, how embarrassing. She's walked on in and was like, I'm gonna take a really cute selfie. I'm gonna lay in the bed and wait for my daughter. Next minute, she's in some random child's room. She looks so happy too. I wouldn't wanna break it to her. Being like, uh, I'm in my dorm. Where are you? It's like, I thought I was in your dorm. It's like, oh no, mum, you're in the wrong dorm. Nah, nah. I really wanna know the conversation that happened after that though. I'm like, what went down? What conversation happened? Like, mum, you've been to my dorm room multiple times. How did you not recognize that it was my room? room like come on you're my mom you meant to know this shit. in case you ever think your roommate is dumb let me one up you it's like how did this happen because by the looks of it listen i'm not here to defend the stupid people but as one of those stupid people i'm here to defend the stupid people i'm sorry i gotta do what i gotta do it looks like a pot that needs to go on the heat so like wh why is it like a plastic that could be melted because it's a pot you try pots always get hot no i'm confused how this happened and i'm here to defend i don't think that this person is in the wrong is there certain plastic pots that can withhold some type of heat but not all types of heat and then you went too high and then it melted everywhere what happened i want to know the backstory i want to become a detective one time at this bar in nashville the band stopped playing and asked the audience who is here from plant city florida and this girl goes wow it's like me i'm from plant city florida she thought they were giving her hometown a shout out but it was because they found her lost id i think about her often it's like for some that would be embarrassing but for me i'd be like hell yeah do you know how expensive it is to get a new license i'm gonna tell you here in australia how much does this cost without doxing my address oh it doesn't say the actual Fee. It's literally like 120 to get a license. So thank you, random band in Nashville, for letting me know that I lost my ID. At least you didn't have a drone. Declare war on your head. That drone tried to give you straight up dreads, dude. What did you do to the drone? Oh, it's a kid too. Sorry, I shouldn't have laughed. Sorry, until I saw the, the child hands, I didn't realize that it was a kid. This poor child. Mate, the drone just wanted some quality time with mom and dad, and you just came in and was like, Mom, Mom, I need food, I need dinner, I need snacks, I need lollies. And this drone was like, Nah, I'll be no, this is my time with mum and dad. You're not gonna come forward and try and do this with me. Tangles hair instantly. 
instantly that I can guarantee that that's what went down. I have no doubt at all, that's what went down. So my Uber driver is constantly talking about marijuana and all the ways to smoke it. It's gonna be real awkward here in about 10 minutes when he drops me off at home and my patrol car is parked out the front. <laughs> so this guy is having a nice little chat with the man in the back. Turns out the man in the back's a bloody police officer and you're like, listen, this is all the ways that you can smoke this illegal drug. You wanna know where I get it? You wanna know my dealer? He's just like, yes, I'll just uh, jot this down for later. We'll just, when we get to the house, you just hop out, I'll arrest you straight away. Okay. It even has LPD in his Twitter at. Come on, Charlie, just let him go. He just wanted to have a yarn about the devil's lettuce. Oh, this hurts to see. Mate, in Australia, we have plastic money. My dog couldn't do that if she freaking tried, okay? Yeah. I just said frickin'. That's when you know I'm serious. Look at the bright side. Your dog didn't discover your money stash. <laughs> like, I'm curious in America. Can you, you know, try and piece the puzzle together and like tape it all up? Does that still count as money? What What are the rules with that? Because that looks like, you know, it's a little bit of money. It's not like an over... Oh, no, I see a 20 there. I see a 20, I see a five. I see another 20. Is that a 10? We're looking at like around 50 to 100 bucks worth of damage right here, guys. That is depressing. I'm sorry. I like, don't get me wrong. I love my dogs. But if they did this to me, gone, bloody gone. I can't even say that with a straight face. I'm like, gone. <laughs> like, as if I would ever get rid of them. Those dogs could literally get away with murder. I have a solution though. Move to Canada, move to Australia. We have plastic money. Dogs can't do this. This one isn't even bad. I was behind a grandmother who was apparently visiting Starbucks for the first time. Bravo, grandma. Well done. Welcome to the world of Starbucks. The barista said, can I get a name for your drink? She looked very confused and said slowly, I guess you could just call it Bob. <laughs> they wanted her name, whatever, whatever this beautiful grandmother's name is. They just wanted that and uh, she named it Bob. Listen, I have a weird name and people struggle to spell it. So I usually say random names or whoever I'm with, I just legit say their name. And they're like, bitch, that's me though. That ain't your name. And then it's more embarrassing than if I had said my name and tried to help the person spell it. Cause they're like, that's my name. And then the barista's is like, why are you saying somebody else's name? And I'm like, cause my name's too hard. And they're like, how do you spell your name? Maybe I could get it. And you're like, oh, it's just too hard. Let's talk about it. And then 10 minutes later, you're still having this conversation. So my roommate thought I made cinnamon rolls. I actually made bacon. He is not happy happy with his finger scoop. Ugh. See, I know it's bacon because she's she's already told me it's bacon. So I look at that, I'm like, Ugh, that's disgusting. But him, he's like, oh, hell yeah. You made cinnamon rolls? That's delicious. This is the beautiful like leftover juices. It's like, no, mate, that's a, uh, yeah, that's from bacon. <laughs> I feel sick looking at that. I'm picturing him going into it being like, this is gonna be the tastiest thing ever. Leftover cinnamon rolls, neck minute. It's oil, his bacon is disgusting. Oh, this poor guy, you really hate to see it. This man's painted himself into a corner. He was just distracted. He was just thinking, he was just doing a little bit of paint here, a little bit of paint there, neck minute. He's boxed in. Poor guy. Painted himself in a corner. So I went to class today really thinking that I'd grab my computer off the kitchen counter. You pull it out of your handbag and realize, yeah, uh, you've packed a cutting board. <laughs> Oh my God, because some of the same weight. I can understand how this mistake was made. You're in a rush. You're like, oh God, I got to get out of here. I got to make it to class. Next minute, you're not going to be doing much work if you're trying to type on a cutting board. But hey, if anyone's got any veggies, celery sticks, carrots, don't worry, I got you. Just, I need a knife. We definitely have the cutting board though. What did somebody do to this laptop? Does anyone know how to fix this? I tried putting it in rice, but it didn't work. Wait, you're telling me you even put that in rice and it didn't go back to normal? That's weird, man. Putting it in rice, like, should have done the trick. That is when you know that it's past the point of no return. I was at the airport and the TSA agent told me to scan my license face down, but I just heard scan your face down. <laughs> this person just heard scan your face down. So I put my face on the scanner and waited. I wish this was a joke, but no, it happened. And the TSA guy could not stop laughing. And now I have to go into WITSEC, which is witness protection, man. Like that's it. I got to pack my bags to get a new identity because he told me to put my license down and I just grabbed my face on my bam. Can you picture seeing somebody do that in the line at the airport. They're like, you got to scan your license and they just scan their mole fucking face. You're kidding. Oh no. It's kind of gross, but also kind of cute. So I told my niece to only eat half my grapes. So this bitch, I'm sorry to call your niece a bitch, but this bitch just goes and eats half. Like, that's what I mean. It's kind of gross, kind of upsetting, but also super, super cute. So you can't even be mad when the wrong number texts me. <laughs> when you get home and get the baby settled, call me. It's like, hmm, this is a wrong number. How do I play with this? This poor mother or poor father, a heart attack. It's like, I thought you had the baby. What? Who has the baby? Wait, what? I'm that person that would be like, sorry, man, you've texted the wrong number. I'm sure your husband or wife has has the baby. I don't, I, this ain't me. It ain't me. But this person's like, hmm, I'm gonna give this baby 
a heart attack real quick. Oh, just when it comes to like money, like the last one was like 50 bucks. I was like, that's depressing. That is very, very depressing. I was like, move to Australia. The money's plastic here. But I feel like even plastic money would go through a shredder. And this two-year-old shredded a thousand dollars. Oh no. It's like that would have happened whether it was plastic money or paper money. Would it? I don't know. Would plastic money have been fine? If plastic money was fine, leave your kid in America and move you and your husband, you and your husband move to Australia. What do you do at this point? It's your child. It's your blood. Like it's your flesh. Like you created this child and he's gone and done you like that. Well, I hope these made you laugh. I'll see you next time. Yeet.